Hello friends and family and welcome to the Thursday, September 17th thing. <laughs> Boring meditation stuff video. I heard a talk once by Jerry Seinfeld, of all people, about uh, transcendental meditation. So he apparently used TM as an aid to help him get through the work day when he was originally shooting Seinfeld, the TV show. And there's a funny bit when he's talking about transcendental meditation to the audience, where he says that for the longest time he wouldn't meditate in the mornings because you've just woken up. Why rest? That you've been sleeping for eight or nine hours and now you wake up, okay, now rest. <laughs> and I think that this is a common misperception around meditation. This, this idea that it's a form of rest. Um, it is not. Serious meditation is not rest. You may find it restful afterward. You may find yourself rejuvenated. Um, and you may find that you do sleep better and therefore get better rest when you're meditating regularly. But meditation itself is not rest. Meditation is work. And it is actually very difficult work. Um, you're never really done. Uh, you can't say, oh, okay, I've got it. I've got the breast now. And now let me just enjoy that. Because you could always zoom in further. You can always see the breath in shorter time frames, in tinier physical increments. You can pay attention to subtler qualities of the breath, subtler and subtler and subtler. And so wherever you're standing in terms of your practice, if you're distracted every single second, obviously there's work to do, <laughs> difficult work. But as you find yourself getting closer and closer to the breath and seeing it more and more clearly, you will find that there is more and more delicate work to do. And it is difficult in the same way that it is difficult to, um, in the, in the same way that it is difficult to carve wood, in the same way that it is difficult to sew in small increments, in the same way that it is difficult to paint with finesse, in the same way that it is difficult to drive with subtlety. There are people who perceive the road and who have a real connection to their vehicle that others don't. And like anything, these are all skills and you have to master the, the broad stroke portions first. You have to be able to cut the board in half if you want to be able to carve it with a knife or some other tool, a chisel. You have to be able to make a single straight seam before you can do the finicky seams. And it is the same with meditation, but it is always work the whole way through. You may become more natural at it, but at no point is it a nap. At no point is it time to relax. That's not what meditation is. Again, I, I should point out that I'm specifically referring to Anapana meditation and Vipassana meditation um, when I'm speaking of serious meditation practices. There are other meditation practices for which the intention is simply to relax you. And there's nothing wrong with that, but um, they're an entirely different category of meditation altogether. Um, um, one might describe them as being more meditative than actual meditation. 
I hope that that description is helpful to someone. <laughs> and I hope that everyone is taking good care of themselves and good care of everyone around them. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.